Hey, this is Presh Tollwalker. I've been doing order of operations videos for a long time. And just when I thought I'd seen everything, a news story proves me wrong. According to Hindustan Times, CEO gives candidates this brain teaser during job interviews. Can you solve it in three seconds? The post was shared on LinkedIn by Dino Dion. I give this test to everyone I interview. If you want the hashtag job, you have three seconds to provide the correct answer. You'd be surprised to hear all the ridiculous excuses I've heard from people who either gave me the wrong answer or couldn't provide one. My six-year-old solved in 30 seconds. And here's the problem. This has spread on social media with the tagline, only for genius. What is the answer to 3 times 3 minus 3 divided by 3 plus 3? This question doesn't seem particularly tricky at all. But when I read about the reactions on social media, there were many disagreements about the correct answer. So I wanted to share some of the other responses. So some people evaluated this expression strictly going from left to right. So we start out with 3 times 3. This is equal to 9. Then we do the next operation from left to right, which will be 9 minus 3. This evaluates to 6. Then 6 divided by 3 is equal to 2. And finally, 2 plus 3 is equal to 5. There were many, many people who thought 5 is the correct answer. But I would say this is not correct according to the modern interpretation of the order of operations. But there was also another answer people gave on social media. So they interpreted the question like this. You have a division symbol. By historical perspective, that meant everything on the left of the division symbol would be a numerator and everything on the right would be a denominator. You could imagine this would have been convenient for typesetting because everything on a typewriter was written on one line. So under this interpretation, you would have the following fraction, 3 times 3 minus 3, all divided by 3 plus 3. Now we just need to simplify the numerator and the denominator. We start out with 3 times 3, which is equal to 9. We then have 9 minus 3, which is equal to 6 in the numerator, and 3 plus 3, which is also equal to 6 in the denominator. So this is equal to 6 over 6, which simplifies to be 1. And there are genuinely people who would say 1 is the correct answer. I would suggest this is not correct according to the modern interpretation of the order of operations. So what is the correct answer to 3 times 3 minus 3 divided by 3 plus 3? A convenient way to evaluate this expression is to use the acronym PEMDAS. This refers to parentheses, then exponents, then multiplication and division, and finally addition and subtraction. Some people may have learned it as BODMAS, where parentheses has the corresponding brackets and exponents has the corresponding orders. An important clarifying rule is that if you have two operations of the same precedence, you want to evaluate them from left to right. So let's take a look at 3 times 3 minus 3 divided by 3 plus 3. We clearly have a multiplication, and we also have a division. These will be the highest precedence. So we look at the step of multiplication and division. Which one do we do first? If you have two operators of the same precedence, evaluate them from left to right. So in this case, we go from left to right. So that means 3 times 3 will be evaluated first. 3 times 3 is equal to 9. So we'll simplify this and put it into the expression. In the next step, we will do 3 divided by 3, and 3 divided by 3 is equal to 1. So we can substitute that into the expression. We have now simplified the problem into 9 minus 1 plus 3. We have a subtraction and an addition. So in this case, we have two operations of the same precedence, so we will evaluate from left to right. We first do 9 minus 1, which is equal to 8. And finally, we are left with 8 plus 3, which is equal to 11. 
And this is without a doubt the correct answer according to the modern interpretation of the order of operations. But you don't have to take my word for it. You can simply substitute this into Google or you can input it into Wolfram Alpha and they will both parse the expression and show you that the correct answer is 11. I have no idea if solving this problem will help you get a job, but at least the problem provided an opportunity to review the order of operations, which is one of the internet's greatest confusions. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems, one video at a time.